Hey everybody, thought I'd pop on for a little bit of a recording of the YouTube video for the week since, um, well, I don't know what my schedule is going to be like for the following couple of weeks, so unfortunately my daughter is in um, sort of a vacation period for her school, so she's going to be home, which means it makes it more difficult for me to pop on for streams for a couple of weeks. Um, I have secured her some vacation care, but um, I don't know exactly which days she will be available for that, because um, a lot of them were already booked, because they sort of informed me of it a little bit late, because the schedule's a little bit different than what I'm used to in America. Um, one thing I forgot to add over here, just give me one sec. I need to add this little guy. That way we know what music we're playing here because, um, turns out YouTube does not like the in-game music for Free Enterprise. It, uh, often gives you, um, copyright restrictions and whatnot. Hey, anyway. So, I rolled this on April Fool's Day, just to get it rolled before anything got rolled back or whatever. Um, I, I haven't looked into the seed of what it contains. So basically, the April Fool's joke for this year is this wacky random flag. I don't know what it does. No clue whatsoever. Not even the single most iota of a clue. I, I've also put on Push Me to Jump and Vintage, which were the previous April Fool's jokes for last year and the year before. Figured I might as well go all in. And, um, I did put objectives, but I'm guessing the wacky flag removed them, because it says that there's none now, <laughs> so I don't know. And uh, we do have a hero, which it's looking like that's Purim, which is not the best, but, you know, maybe we don't have to do Mount Ordeals, who knows. Uh, everything else is pretty normal, all things considered. So I'm not going to time this one because, like I said, I don't know what the flag does. So for all I know, this is unfinishable. But we're going to go take a look at it. So let's get started in 3, 2, 1. Now hopefully everybody's had a good week since I've been MIA. Um, very begrud begrudgingly so, don't you worry. It looks like we have Kane as our side character and that looks like that is Purim. We start with the pan. Right, so let me uh, head on over here, mark that off. You guys won't be able to see this because it's too much screen, but I might as well mark it off for my own benefit down the line. But yeah, I would have loved to have been streaming that past week, but unfortunately we had a lockdown, goes right into the um, school vacation, so it was kind of a bum rap all around. Imaginary numbers. What does that mean? I'm assuming that's the wacky thing. Okay, nothing looks weird here. And they're pretty much naked, so I need to find equipment. Now, the fact that I can jump is going to move some stuff along, but it's not going to make it completely easy mode for me. I will be able to check certain areas that I would normally otherwise not be able to early. Uh, Blitz Whip's not going to help me. Looks like we got a sit over here and Dr. Luge. Not the worst fight to have over there. Luckily with the jump flag, if anybody gets in my way, I can quickly jump over them. I can also make this check somewhat quick. But not a whole lot there, really. At least so far. I'm gonna need to hunt down some degree of really good attack skill to uh, get past Mount Ordeals if I do have to do it. 
because um, Purim Solo is not um, the most calming situation. All right, I need to save because there is going to be a trap chest in here. I do not want that in my life. <clears throat> so if I can figure out which chest is the trapped one, we'll be far better off. Now there's a chance of Foo or Edge being here, which is definitely beneficial for me. Uh, Moonvale's there, good to know. I hope you all like the new layout, as I've obviously been a little busy in my time away. Figured I might as well take advantage of it by uh, sprucing things up a little bit. And there is our trap chest. Do I have a, even a snowball's chance in hell of killing this? Probably not. But that is why we made the save right before. So I know that's where the chest is. I don't have to do anything else as far as avoiding them. Definitely re-grab these though, because there was a couple of decent things. Also take advantage of the fact that we do have shortcut abilities, so... I'm still not seeing what imaginary numbers does. The first thing that pops into my head is that the numbers you see in battle when, like, you do an attack are not accurate. But that's just me spit-firing, basically. I have no clue. And Blizzard staff for, um, Kane's not too bad. Silkweb's a good find. We are gonna have to fight Zeromus in this one, as far as I'm aware, so... I'm probably not gonna go further than this for the time being, so... Let's get Rosa. That looks like it's one of the Mylons? Rose is kind of less helpful than she would normally be, considering I sort of have a forced white mage on my team already with Purim. But I mean, she's an overall good character, so it's not the worst thing that could happen. And how have you been doing, Enneve? I know you message me sometimes, but... I've certainly been around less than I usually am, so, you know. Unfortunately, I was kind of hoping that would be a physical character. So that would have definitely made my job a little bit easier. And that's fine, because we still have quite a few places to go, so... That's just an easy check to do with the jumping ability. <clears throat> so for now we will sort of stick with the normal path I take of going to Mysidia, or not Mysidia, Mist and Kaipo to do those checks. Having the pan early probably will make me hesitate to go to Fabul until I have to. I'm doing alright. I'm looking forward to being able to stream again on the regular, but uh, failing that, I don't have many complaints. We've just set up around the house for um, Easter for when the little one wakes up. Hey, Rakshon. Gotta head to work, no worries. 
I'm hoping that I will be able to be back around my normal time, at least for part of next week. I'll have to figure out exactly what the time frame is for her holiday care. Okay, that's Edward. At worst, I might be an hour less than I usually do until um, she's back at school regularly. But I mean, it's, it's it'd still be mostly a full day. I'll also probably pop on a bit more often at night. At least until things are back to normal. I didn't prior to this because, well, I mean, look at look at my layout. I've been working on stuff, you know. By the time I've been done with that stuff, I've been tired and just wanted to go to bed. Ooh, Dwarf Axe. Definitely will help with Kane. As will that white. Oh, hello, Adamant Armor. Okay, well, you can have that, first of all. Do you have gloves yet? You have samurai gloves, it's not too bad. Helmet, um, let's give you the bandana. First of all, let's give you the dwarf, and then you can have the white. And you can have the Aegis. So let's change it so you guys are all in the back row. Let's give you a headband, because why not? I don't really think we have anything else. Um, makes more sense to prioritize you, because you're going to be in for the long haul here. On that note, let's give you that apple. That would be Kane, oh well. <laughs> well, I mean, he's going to be our main damage dealer, so I guess there's some value in that. Did you um, finish Yakuza 6 there, Enove? Or are you still sort of plugging away at it? Nazimune? Haven't found an edge yet, but it could come in handy down the line. <clears throat> but I, I would think with um, the equipment we found for Kane, he's going to be more than okay for quite some time in here. Chapter 9 or 10? Okay, you're near the end. Have you just been doing all the side stuff, or just it's not drawing you in as much as some of the other ones in the series? Assuming you haven't been distracted with other stuff, um, I'll give you that dragon. Try to make you as just unbreakable as possible. A wizard shirt and a protect ring, that works for you. Uh, that makes sense. Well, I hope your knee feels better before too long, man. Body pains ain't nothing to be messing around with, trust me on that. Drain spear if I get really desperate. Ooh, a white. Well, that's definitely better than what you have, so you can have that one. That'll free up that for you. I gotta admit, so far, uh, the wacky flag has not really done much for me. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed. And I'm, I'm assuming that it's going to make itself a bit more obvious as we go into this boss fight here. Which, I mean, if I'm right, it just sort of 
gives you random numbers. That's less exciting than one it could be, but at least we'll see an effect. D Lunars. Well, these guys should go down pretty easily, considering. In fact, I might as well just have Kane attack them outright. Well, I see that we can't see what our current HP is, which is kind of annoying. We can see what our max HP is. Well, it's certainly going to make it difficult for um, keeping people alive. Unless it's just giving them random current HP. Like, they Quorum could have, like, 4,000. Okay, another Protect Ring. I mean, it's not going to help me, but I'll take it. I mean, I'll help, but just not going to help as, like, a key item. Okay, it looks like it is still going off of the minimal HP, so I, I just can't see what I have in battle. Which is going to be real good for stuff like the Zeromas fight. Just have no clue what the hell's going on for most of it. I'm still kind of hoping for something with a bit more oomph, though. I gotta be, be honest with you. But, considering that usually these things stay in the active pool for flags you can pick, I'm assuming there's more things we can do. Ooh, um... Damn it. That's not what I wanted to trigger. I mean, we'll try. I do have a dragon whip, so it's not completely devoid of fails. And I mean, with the protect rings and the adamant armor, Shadow's not really even going to be able to do much. I think Riddy is the only one I'd be able to auto-kill. Unless I'm completely wrong. I mean, he might be able to break through. Um, okay, okay, so... Protect Ring, you can still be killed. I think it's just... Maybe I'm thinking the Ribbon. Still? Could be a lot worse, so I'm just... I can just jump and I assume that would be enough to do the majority of his HP. Just kind of hoping I would get that off in time, but it's fine. Enough to kill him. That's the other thing with the hero flag. It doesn't matter that Porum's dead. She still gets experience and levels up, so... There's really no downside there. It's another reason why it's not a huge deal about um, Rosa right now. Of course, the downside to that is that I cannot use Porum as an agility anchor because the hero flag is going to lock her in for that too. And since I have no way of preventing her from getting levels, I just got to hope that she's not too fast. I've been debating if I should allow the trivia bot to appear on the stream the chat window so that people watching on YouTube don't just think you're yelling random words for no apparent reason. <laughs> Although that is amusing to think. If you're here during the actual stream, if you're watching this on YouTube, there is a trivia bot. He's not just saying random words. He's answering questions. 
Gaia drum. That is a good thing to find. Um, I also have a Boreas. I might not need the Gaia drum, honestly. I'm likely not going to use that, so I can ditch that. I'm going to hold on to everything else. Um, I'll hold off on getting that for now. Hmm. I mean, I guess I could try to get Sid now. So I wouldn't mind having another physical fighter. <laughs> yeah, it, I've changed how they work, so it's going to be an adjustment period. It's designed so that uh, people can't just... They don't really have time to Google it, you know, they have to actually figure it out. see how it goes. I mean, if it's just endless chat spam and it's making it so people can't talk, then obviously it would have to go, but for now it's fine. I need to equip Rydia when I get a chance. I forgot to do it before this fight, but it's not a huge deal. Right now, she's not really providing me any true value. Like, if we got, like, a Bahamut drop or something, that'd be a lot different, but... I mean, the dragon, uh, the dragon whip is not without value, so... Kagnazo. Might as well do this just in case. I am kind of hoping that he will not last long, though. It doesn't end the question immediately, just as a heads up. You do have a bit of a buffer. I want to say it's 10 seconds. So it's not like something where somebody can only try once and then you're just boned. I would assume this should kill him. Well, not that. The jump. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Although I'd be pretty impressed if that did kill him. The package. I mean, it's another character, and that would let me get the full party, so I may as well do that. Because, I mean, if I could get a hold of an edge with that Mazamune, we'll be in pretty good position as far as doing anything else. I mean, I'm not on the clock for this particular seed, so... No harm in doing stuff that's going to take some time. Also lets me see my sprite. Okay, so that's Cecil. I mean, that gives me cause to go up Mount Ordeals. Of course, I haven't found, like, a crystal sword or anything to really push me forward, but, I mean, why not, you know? I also don't need the hook to go down the hook path, so, I mean, if I really want to get into the underground, I have that route as well. Although, with me being unable to see my health... There is some danger involved in doing stuff like that, because I don't currently have the ability to keep my healing up.
Yeah, so we gotta see which boss is at Kaipo. It shouldn't be too big of a deal. It's one of the easier boss spots in the game. I think the only thing that's technically easier is the tower room. Even that's kind of debatable. Because there's at least a couple of fights in there where they might get a hit in. So I guess what we're going to do is we'll get Cecil. I might as well go right to Mount Ordeals afterwards. I think with what we have in our inventory, we have enough in the way of attack items to go where we need to go. Ooh. I mean, that is a full party, but... With me having Porum, I don't really need Rosa. There still might be some value in taking him. Because I, I haven't found what the game intends as your route underground yet. Because I, I don't think the game has logic to say, oh, well, I can just jump in here. I could be wrong. But I, I don't recall it being able to do that. Alright, so you can have that now. Um, might as well give you the wizard. You can have that protect ring as well. Um, headband's fine for you. At least you have some equipment now. But yeah, if you win by like 10,000 points this month, I'm just going to say to people, look, I tried. There's nothing I can do. You'll just have to try a little bit harder. I've made it as easy as I can for you guys. I mean, granted... I didn't screw you over too much, I mean, it's fair for everybody, but at the same time, there's not much more I can do. Alright, I just got a power staff. I'd rather give that to you, because then that just means it's less ammo I have to worry about keeping. It's not like you're going to do more damage with the power staff than you will the bow and arrows probably anyway, at least right now. Now, <clears throat> there is one fun thing I can do here. I don't know if it's worth doing because I still theoretically have to find D-Mist. But I can jump over these spots here and prevent myself from having to fight the second boss or whatever. I mean, I might as well fight this one because, I mean, come on. <laughs> I don't think this boss can really do much to you, all things considered. I'm certainly not going to do much to him. I can probably give Sid the Dwarf Axe. At least we have warps for when we do get underground. Um, all right, let me pop something on you, because, I mean, you can be good with bows as well, but you're definitely going to have a better time with not to that, so. 
Let's give you the dwarf for right now, because I think that's weaker than or the the dwarf axe is stronger than the hand axe. Bandana's your best helmet anyway. You can have the diamond. I mean, I, I still might see what that boss is after I save. Because I still have to find d because that could lead to a key item. Magma key. Well, there's my way underground. Oh, and there's DMS, so never mind, I don't have to fight that boss. Although getting out of here might be a bit tough. Alright, he's hit me once. That was twice. Okay, we got through. Now, the bummer is, is that Cecil's not going to have any equipment right now, which is unfortunate, but um, I mean, there's plenty of chest to check once I get underground, so might get something for him. I mean, if I could find a crystal sword, I theoretically don't even need the adamant on Kane anymore, you know? There we go. Don't even have to fight that second boss. Well, since we do have the magma key, I see no reason to not just go down into the underground and, uh, first of all, do the pan sequence, because that's uh, multiple checks in one fell swoop. I'm thinking that the 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 crystal's going to be just a random key item. I don't think it's like I have to forge the crystal or any of that stuff. I'm pretty sure I'm still forging one of the items from advance. Let's double check what's in the shop here first. There's hourglass ones if I need them. But I don't really know what method of leveling we're going to take quite yet. I think we need to, for one, get to the point where I can even go to Zeromus and do what I need to do. And then two, from there I need to figure out what's available to me. I think I saw Sirens already. And um, level up to kill him. And I think, um, Horum's gonna get the same weapon that Tella did last time, which is that Nirvana staff. There may be a second weapon, though, because I know Sid had two when I was watching Invenerable play a seed recently. Yeah. Let's head over here first. And then it's going to be something of a tall order, figuring out which direction we want to take. Because, I mean, we don't have too much in the way of levels at the moment. So some of the fights down here are going to be not impossible, but definitely rough. That being said, I do have Adam and Kane, so, I mean, we could probably squeeze through with just him alive, worst case scenario. Granted, I would much rather have somebody other than him also alive. Right, defense sword, something for Cecil, I guess. In fact, I might as well pop that on right now so I don't forget later. I 
Uh, your back row glitched already, so I might as well do that. In fact, while I'm thinking about it... can't remember which hand does it, so I'm just gonna cut out the middleman and do everything. Now, is there any other shields and stuff we have for you right now? Don't believe there is. Nope. Alright, that's fine. Now, before we go up to uh, Fabul, I'm gonna swing by Tomra here just so I don't have to remember to come back down here later to do a check. Mental health counselor. Nothing really too great in there, but um, if I could find coffins here, it would be still be worth the swing by. No, but there is a Bahamut. We're not going to need multiples of that. He has defense sword, so that's irrelevant. Those are irrelevant now. I have a full moon, I don't need that. It's enough to get that. Okay, so now she's definitely going to be more useful. I mean, against the Romans, I'm still going to want nuke, but for now it'll do. It'll move things along at the very least, and that's really the main important thing. Yeah, so let's head to Fabul. We'll do defense first, just so we get the free heal up. Then we'll swing over while we're looting the place and uh, talk to his wife and get those checks done. Bacchus Wines is not a bad thing to find with um, the amount of physical attackers we've got in the party currently. Alright, so we've already seen Goblez. We've beaten him, so that's one of the three problem people done. That leaves Valvolus and Wyvern. But we're just dealing with Yang, so... Worst case scenario, we'll just kill him in seconds. But we also do have the easy out with uh, Cecil, if need be. But I can't imagine him lasting too long. We got Berserk as a spell, so... The uh, Bach of Swans be damned for the time being. And what did that one give us? The pass. I mean, could potentially need that later, so I'll take it. Also, Sylph is a good find as well. Now we have sort of a better healing ability. The only person I could see replacing in this team is Sid. Ooh. Okay, well... You can have that outright right now. And that shall give you that shield. I can sell the... Well, I'll, I'll hold on to the white in case I do need to swap by the Avenger over to Cecil or something. There's another Murasame. So I'm doubting I'm ever going to find an edge at this point. Ooh, Pinktail. Still haven't found the um, hook, so I can't do much with that at the moment, I don't think. 
Oh, there's a crystal. Okay, so... We now have the means to fight Zeromus. We do have a path to Zeromus. But we don't have the levels for him. I also don't have 10 key items, so getting to level 50 would be a bit of a slog right now. I also don't have Edward, so even if I could do Edward strats, I could not do them right now. We can ditch that. Theoretically, we only need one full moon, so I'm gonna sell the other. Those can go, those can go. Um, honestly, probably don't need most of these bows. We've got a better sword, so I can ditch that. Don't need that. Don't need that at this point. So I think there was sirens in... I want to say Baron, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So while I'm swinging by here, might as well check the shops in Taroya. Oh, I gotta fix that. Yep, I, just, I saw it when I looked down. That's three. Two, four, eight. Won't be able to answer it because it's missing the hashtag things you need. And there's cabins. I'll grab 20 of them. There's a Shira. Aside from that, nothing I need. I don't believe I have Exit yet. I might be wrong. Uh, samurai Armor, that can go on you. Uh, you might have Exit. No, not right. Nope, nobody has Exit yet. That's fine. Kind of hoping there'd be better stuff in there for me, but uh, alas. It might have. I have no clue how that works. Let me check, because uh, I might be able to see if anything's listed as higher than that. Um, currency. No, it, it does have higher hours than that. I don't know why I would have stopped for you. Although, for me... Says you're at 974. Yeah. And I might do it over time, you know what I mean? Like every so often it updates. I'm not 100% sure how it functions, so I can't tell you one way or another. Okay, that is not where the sirens were. So where were they? Typo, maybe? I mean, even if you saw that it wasn't working <laughs> and you told me, I don't know if I'd be able to do anything about it. I think that'd be an issue for whoever programmed it. Because that would be Streamlabs, not so much my bot. No, not there either. Where did I... S maybe I didn't see the sirens. I'm just making it up in my head. Those I haven't checked, um... Oh, I know where it might be. It might have been in the, uh... 
the Elven cave there. I don't have an edge, so right now I need to find where they're for sale. Because I might have no choice but to uh, do it the hard way, so to speak. No, not there either. Um, the only other place I can think of that we test uh, checked recently is um, Silvera. Which hopefully I'm not thinking about a completely different seed. It wouldn't surprise me. They do kind of blend in with each other after a while, but still. If it isn't here, then maybe I just didn't see it, and I thought I did. No? Okay. I guess I was mistaking it for another seed. Alas, it happens. So I guess we will check Missidia then. And then. The question will be what to do from there. There is a free key item in the Fey March, but I, I would think I have next to no chance of fighting the boss there right yet. And life potions. Not the one I wanted. Damn it, I didn't want to do it twice. Well, at least I have Cure 2s in a worst case scenario. My button is too sensitive sometimes. But we have Light Potion, so thumbs up. I mean, I, I did get a couple of Siren Drops, so... Could be worse. Um, I guess we'll go to the Fey March first. I don't think I'll be able to fight anything, but I, at least I can do recon. I can get a free key item while I'm down there as well. I mean, theoretically, I have go mode aside from levels, so I don't necessarily need to fight any bosses I don't want to fight. The only reason I might is just trying to get um, Legend Sword and Adamant. But I mean, <laughs> at this point, you know, it's a matter of do I want to keep doing stuff until I have 10 key items or not? Because right now I'm at 5, which is a fair whack of ways off. Baron key. I mean, it's, it's a path, so I'll take it. I don't really have gear to be excited about right now. Hourglass threes. Samurai helmet. Tom, um, what do you got? You do not have a helmet on, so you can have that on. I guess you can have a protect ring because why not? In fact, you can probably have a protect ring as well. well we'll take a peek at what's there, but uh, I'm not expecting to be able to fight anything that would be here, so not exactly holding my breath. Yeah. Neither of those would be a fun time at this exact point in time. But at least it's nothing um, free, so that means that the free bosses would be in harder spots. So there is some value there, certainly. Yeah, stop in here because I can. Get a very quick heal up. And I'm pretty sure I have the warp glitch on, so I can sneak in the back door for the sealed cave and prevent myself from having to dive down that. 
I mean, if I can rush through getting four more key items, it'll just make grinding out that much easier. Hey, there's my sirens. Okay, I need 80,000. Well, I don't need this anymore. That can go. Um, I think at this point I would likely just turn down a young. Don't need that. Probably don't need that. Don't need that. Didn't even mean to buy those to begin with, so I can ditch those. That can go. Don't really want to drop those if I can avoid it. Um, probably not going to use those, actually. So, you know what? That should be good enough to get my levels. I am begging to find a good Cecil sword. <laughs> It's not looking good, though. That was a crystal shield. That was an Ashura summon. Might as well teach myself that. Might as well give that to you. Make you as good as you possibly can be. I mean, Defense Sword's not great, but it's nothing to, like, sniff at, you know? It'll do the job. Just other weapons will do it far, far better. Well, there's that heroin robe I just sold, so at least I can get more money from it. Okay, it's just throwing them at me now. An Earth Hammer! Might as well throw that in you, why not? Nothing I would really call groundbreaking, but, you know, I'll take it. Use those to get my money supply back up in case I do find cabins or something along those lines. Light sword and glass. That's not bad. Alright. Light sword is going to be technically better in certain situations. Um... Glass Helm is going to be better to fence, so I might as well throw it on for the time being. Oh yes, Happy Easter. Although I think it's technically not Easter here yet for two hours. Um, can you wear a shield with that? You cannot. And I'd rather have the bandana on you than the other stuff. I still don't think I have exits, so I'm going to have to do the walk of shame out of here, but that's fine. I couldn't risk there not being something good and not me just never looking at it, so... We'll step outside, I'll drop a save, and then we'll see what we can do here. I meant the, the official Easter is in two hours. You get, like, the Easter weekend or whatever, as far as days off work and the like. Okay, Calbrenna. Potentially I could just summon Bahamut and be done with it. Vanilla Calbrenna at that. Which I forget how much uh, health they have normally. Yeah, we have Good Friday. I don't know if the between day is important or not, but I think they just give you the day off because the hell of it. I, I think you don't get the second Easter day. You only get the one here. No Hobbit Easter.
So I guess that's just Sweden squeezing in an extra day for the sake of saying they did. But I mean, I count that as victory, so thumbs up all around. Now that's one boss done. Who's this? Leviathan. Yeah, it's not too bad. This is a pretty low HP spot. Ooh. Still do have those weapons, so you know what? You gets to go. No SIDs allowed. I think overall that's a pretty decent party to end up with for the final party here. I mean, it could be better if I had some better weapons all around, but um, still, I can't complain too much. And there's my exit spell, if I need an exit. So, we'll warp into Sealed Cave, do that check. Get whatever key item we're going to get here. And then... Not really... I mean, I could do Baron. It's kind of a long run for one key item, but... Although it does open up the Odin spot. I forgot to do the warp first. I don't know if this interrupts it or not. Well, there's Adamant. Please let me go in here and do this too. Okay, well, it did, but um, unfortunately nothing really good for me there. Still, I do have one half of the special item now. Um, I mean, I also do have sirens now. Or at least I know where to buy them. I'm gonna check down here what's in the chest here, and maybe we'll get lucky. I wonder if they'll ever add um, the items from FF4 Advance as being in the wild pool so you can get a chance of getting them. So I think that'd be kind of amusing if like the first thing you opened in the seed was uh, one of the ultimate weapons. Unfortunately, nothing too exciting there. Um, I do want to check is it possible to get into the cave for Tails with just jumping? I want to say no. But I mean, it's worth a shot. Nah, it doesn't look good, does it? Nah, not gonna happen. Oh well, it was worth a peek. I guess while I'm in the area, I'll do Baron real quick, because like I said, I theoretically can do the grind right now, but it's going to take a while. I would much rather do it a lot quicker and have a chance of getting that ultimate weapon. Ogre X. At least uh, that check is done a lot quicker with this jump thing. There is a lot of ch chest in here, so if I am hunting for a crystal sword or something along those lines, this isn't the worst place to find it. Worst case scenario, it'll give me more money, which I can then use to get more sirens to make up for having to do it without double experience. 
Dragoon Shield could come in handy if um, the Crystal Shield blocks Berserk. I forget which two crystal parts does it. I know one's the armor, but I can't remember it's, if it's the shield or the helmet for the other part. I know the chest does, but one of the other parts also does. One way of finding out, actually. Where's, um... Where's that crystal shield that I just got? Resist undead. Okay, so maybe it's not the shield. Might be the helmet, then. What's your helmet right now, actually? You can have the Gaia. Or nothing. There you go. Wouldn't mind finding ribbons for them as well. For mages, at least. Maybe it's the gloves, then. I know there's at least two items that do it, though. We don't need to fight that boss, it's fine. Let's go continue exploring chests. Ooh, all right, we're getting full on equipment. Um, actually, you know what? I will take Odin. We can have that instead of Big Bomb, it's fine. Might as well have her learn it because she doesn't know it yet. We already had a Sylph, but I mean, I'll take another one for selling. They're worth a decent amount. Have to remember to hit the R button rather than take things. Don't need that. Don't need that. Um, is there any value in having that? Not really right now, but I'll grab it for the sake of it. That can likely replace something like an Ice Claw that doesn't really have any value. These can go. That'll give me some buffer space here. Definitely take that. I mean, I'll take it because I don't remember how much it's worth. But aside from that, nothing really too exciting in here, unfortunately. It just doesn't want to give me a crystal sword. At least I didn't have to fight the Bygan spot, so I saved myself some time. Okay, um, not the worst boss to find here, because that's going to be a lot of exp uh, health splitting. Uh, let's just do Titan, I guess. He's not going to be able to do much of anything to me. I think at this point, there's not really anybody I would swap in as far as party members go. I could see maybe swapping Fu in for Rydia just to limit how much leveling I have to do, but even then, uh, it's probably not needed. Well, we're definitely not taking him, I can tell you that much. Tella goes right into the garbage. Let's see, best case scenario item here. Um, probably the hook. I mean, 
tower key at least gives me a chance to get two other key items. But I mean, I, I'd much rather have the virtually guaranteed adamant armor. Right, darkness. That puts me at 8 out of 17. Um... I feel like at this point it's not really worth it, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna go get some more um, sirens, and I guess we'll just start doing a grind. So by the time I get two more key items, it's probably gonna be a lot longer than it's really worth. That can go. Um, not gonna need that anymore. Keep that to back row glitch him, I guess, if I feel froggy enough. Um, most of these can just be sold at this point, I would think. Keep that because he can equip it. Um, Okay, that'll do. Um, you get, I mean, I could get more than enough just to make sure I don't have to keep coming back. Now, the only downside is, is I don't have auto-killing stuff. Which is not ideal. And I don't think we've seen coffins being sold anywhere. Um, before I commit, though, I should check the shop on the moon, because they might have the coffins there. I mean, worst case scenario, I, I did see a bunch of places where they were selling um, the hourglasses and the like. That's going to go a lot quicker with the uh, coffins. The other options, if I did want to get the hourglasses, I could fight the dragons on the moon. Which would have the nice side effect that I only need to get to level 42 or so. And then I could just fight bosses up there to put me over the top and potentially get key items in the process. But I still think it'd be relatively quicker to just check for cabins and then call it a day. And I, I forgot how much just work went into just making this work like an 8-bit game for one of the um, April Fools. I admit I'm a little bummed with how subdued this year's is, or at least my randomly generated flag for it is. Hey, there we are. I will grab those. I was kind of hoping for something with a bit more oomph, I guess, but... Um, I mean, it, it did what it was advertised, you know, it gave me strange numbers, so I can't really say it's not working as intended. I just imagine I got one of the less exciting ones that you can possibly have. Which is unfortunate, but it's, you know, the roll of the dice, you never know what you're going to get. First things first, I need to take this off of you for the time being so that you don't attack any of the eggs before I'm ready for you to do so. And with the uh, coffins and sirens placed all the way up 
at the top. This should go relatively quickly, hopefully, so... Um, they're right onto each other. I'm not sure how many of these I'll have to do. I, I would assume I won't need all 40 coffins. But since I am only getting half of the experience I would ideally want to get, it's not going to be completely out of the question that I use them all, especially not if I'm trying to get a nuke on Rudia. It's been so long since I fought a Zeromus fight too, I, I don't know how disastrous that's gonna go. What is her agility right now anyway? I guess it's not too super bad. I can't remember what number I need for, a, you know, the best agility positioning. I want to say it's 18, but I could be completely wrong there. That's the other bummer is, um, to get the health up enough for Porum and Rydia, I have to go a little bit over the top as far as levels go as well. Although that being said, I would assume that after, um, the 40 coffins or whatever, I, at that point I could just have Kane one-shot them, so not a huge deal. Sort of have to use the max HP as sort of a barometer of where they are. I want to say they're somewhere in the mid to late 30s right now. I could be wrong though. Okay, pretty much exactly where I thought they'd be. Curious where the legend sword could possibly be in the seed. Also didn't find the twin harp or any of that. No earth crystals, so no treasury rating. And I know you love that so so much, anime. You like the little jingle and everything? <laughs> no? No jingle? I'm a little bummed that we didn't get a hook, because that's just a free adamant just sitting there, but we did find one adamant, so... It could be worse. Of course, that does beg the question of who would be the best person to have that adamant armor? I mean, there is Edge, because he does have the two endgame swords. But I think he'd be doing like 3,000 at the worst. That being said, nobody else is really going to be like pummeling Zeromus with their current equipment. Having the light sword is going to do more than what he would do normally, but it's not like a crystal sword or an Excalibur, unfortunately. I mean, since I'm not on the clock, what I could do is I could do some world shopping checks just to see if I can find a good weapon in any of the weapon stores. Because, I mean, they're on wild as well, so there is some potential for them having an Excalibur for sale. Potentially even a Crystal Sword. If I could find a Crystal Sword, I could use that Avenger and basically just blow through him. 
we're at 42 now. Hmm. I mean, if I could find a crystal sword, we won't need to put as many levels on everybody else, although my healer would still be relatively low as far as HP goes. That being said, I did see apples for sale. Not being able to see what my current HP levels are is going to be somewhat problematic for this, though. Especially when it comes to stuff like the HP bar ticking down and stuff of that ilk, so... I kind of would prefer to find a Crystal Sword in some capacity, just... to mitigate just how much I need to be healing every single turn. There's not much I can do about um, Porum's agility. I can't kill her to prevent her from getting more, so I just gotta hope she's in a acceptable range by the time I get around to being able to fight him. Forty-six, we're getting there. These last couple of levels are gonna be the hard ones, I'm assuming. Might have to kill more than one to get each one. He might have another name in there or something. Funnily enough, the rapid fire of the questions may have to be nerfed, if only just to prevent you from just getting all your points anyway from sheer volume of questions. Although, to be fair, you're currently the only one playing the game, so it's not like you have much in the way of competition right now. I'm kind of surprised that um, it's not transitioning as fast after somebody answered because like if I go and look at the actual way it's written on here on the bot it says um 10 seconds after somebody guesses the answer uh, I guess it, it's, it only does that if somebody gets the answer right otherwise it's the normal time frame so that's not working quite like I was expecting it to so you know what I might actually turn that <laughs> Because it's just spamming the shit out of my chat. <laughs> and all you get for it is mild bragging rights. Which nobody really cares about anymore because you've always ended up with like 20,000 points more than everybody else. But damn it, it's the principle of the thing, I'm sure. I do know, um, I was overhearing. I say overhearing, I was overreading somebody talking about, um, apparently Rivers has said that. And granted, I'm hearing this secondhand, so I can't verify whether or not Rivers actually said this, but um, you will eventually be able to choose which wacky flag you want to use and be able to see what they do before you choose it. So 
uh, I might uh, dip my toes in some of the other ones when that uh, becomes active. See which ones sound interesting, or at least amusing to look at. Right, we're at 50 for everybody but Rydia. I um, can't remember if she needs 50 or 55 for her nuke. Because I know it depends on some factors. And I believe J uh, abilities are on. I mean, I got 40 coffins. I might as well use them, you know? So I still would very much like to see Purim at around 2,000 HP as well. And that usually takes at least a few further levels. We even have to get into like the 60s range. Although that might be Edward I'm thinking of. Still be pretty close. One more level to 50, and we'll see if that gives her a nuke. If it does, we're more or less done. Unless I really need to get some more health on Purim. I mean, if I have enough stuff to sell, I could feasibly buy some apples to mitigate that, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Just get to 99. Don't think that'll be necessary. Although I could see the value in um, getting two certain agilities with her. So I do have to be somewhat wary of Zeroma's just going at hyper speed. I can't remember if it's 14 or 18 for like his normal this is where you want to be spot. I have to destroy him completely, leave no trace of him whatsoever. She's hit 50. She does not have nuke yet, so I think we have to keep going till she gets that. Which might put us where we need Porum to be, thankfully. <laughs> well, I mean, 4 is an enjoyable JRPG to sit through. I've played it and beaten it many, many times. Not even counting randomizers. Might actually end up using all of these coffins. <laughs> so we're down to single digits now. I was just... When I bought 40 of them, I was literally just buying so many that I wouldn't have to go back to get more later. You know, I have. <laughs> In the DS version, I actually grinded out um, all the tails for every piece of onion equipment for all five party members. It took goddamn forever, and I would never do it ever again, but I did it. At least once. Because I was in college and had nothing better to do once I was done with my homework or projects. It was probably one of the most tedious experiences of my life. But I used to work at a tutoring center for the, for the college I attended, so... 
when I was just waiting for someone to come in and need tutoring, I was just sitting there, so... I got a lot of JRPG grinding work done, and I was paid to do it, so I can't really complain. Yeah, I was on the pay clock, so it wasn't time wasted. I was keeping my hands busy so that I wasn't distracted when somebody arrived and needed help. When you think of it that way, I was providing quality service. Yeah, more or less. <laughs> Just as tedious both ways, I'm sure. Alright, so... We've got to be getting pretty close to unlocking this nuke. And forms pretty much on the teetering cusp of having enough HP to survive a Big Bang. Which ideally, I would prefer there to not be many Big Bangs. Um, 28. I mean... Why not? If you, do, if you like sushi, then sure. I could go for a mochi right around now. It's a nice strawberry one. Delicious. I don't like seafood, so I don't get into all of the sushis, although I am down with like the uh, teriyaki chicken type and stuff of that ilk. I had one in a, a place in Boston. They had green apple sushi, which was really weird. <laughs> I I've never really liked seafood. But uh, my wife likes sushi, so I go and I, I usually I'll get karagi chicken or teriyaki chicken or something. And I I'm not a big fan of avocados either. Like, t tacos are honestly my favorite food, but I, I don't even have it on that. I'm a picky boy. I don't know what to tell you. Please tell me you can one-shot them now. Thank you. Seriously, how much experience do you need, lady? You're lucky I can one-shot them now, or else I'll be kind of annoyed. There we go, Christ. Alright. So we have our levels. Let's uh, move your nuke up, because really that's the only spell of yours we care about at this point. Uh, we need to move your Cure 4 up. We need to move up your Berserk. We need to move up your Wall. Potentially your White as well. All right, now the other remaining question is, can I find a good sword for Cecil? I mean, I don't want to run around checking every single shop in the world, but... <sighs> Artemis Bow. I, was, I thought I'd peek in there just to see if um the uh, adamant armor was for sale. It's kind of a long dip down, but I am curious. I mean, I'm not on the clock, so it's not like I'm racing against time. I'm sort of only racing against having my YouTube video not be seven hours long at this point. But I think a couple of shop checks aren't going to be the worst thing in the world. 
not like it matters what my uh, HP value is after I use the pass. Open trap chest on the moon. I really have no reason to. Well, there's a crystal armor if I was feeling froggy. Don't really have any reason to use that, though. How about a crystal sword? Swing and a miss. Alright, um... Let's use your exit. I'm pretty sure we looked at the shop in the Dwarf Castle and they didn't have anything. At least I don't remember them having anything of note. Um, I don't think I checked the sh weapon shops here, though. I mean, if I don't find it, I don't find it. We can work around it. Just make my life a lot more easier. Swing and miss there. I did not check Mysidia's weapon shops. Really, I didn't check any of the weapon shops in the game. I might have peeked at the one in Baron, but I don't even remember if I'm being honest with you. With my luck, if it's for sale, it'll be um, in the Kaipo, uh, not Kaipo, um, Kukol shop there. There's White Spears. Do I really want to go around checking everything? <laughs> Just for the sake of saying I found a crystal sword. Just to move things along. Ah. I mean, it would help quite a lot, because we don't have much in the way of really great weapons. That's totally not a guarantee, so... Um... Alright, what we're gonna do is we'll check... Mist, we'll check Kaipo, we'll check Fabul, and then it's either in Terroria or we just ain't getting it. The Dragon Spear. Damn it. Also, I forgot to check this. Because we did kill uh, D Master at one point. It's the second seed in a row, I forgot to go check this spot. Okay, that's Twin Harp. I mean, it wouldn't have gotten me two 10 key items, so it's fine. I would have been super happy if that was the uh, Legend Sword, though. Or at least the Earth Crystal, because then I could have checked to see if the Crystal Sword was in the Treasury. There's a Murasame, although Mazamune's a better one. I think you're thinking the wrong West Park. You're looking for the area that is quite literally called West Park. There you go. Oh, the Rune Axe. Okay, so... I have two remaining checks to make. First, I'm going to dip into the castle and check to see if what chest we have access to potentially has it. Failing that, if it's not in the shops here, we're just going to go for it. Yeah, 
It is kind of weird that it's called West Park, but it's on the east side. But, um, I don't know, you know, maybe they use east and west like a uh, manga. It, it's reverses. A dragoon helmet. A silk web, Artemis bow, crystal armor. I mean, I got a, some degree of crystal equipment, just not really the one I wanted, unfortunately. Um. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't really find much to get excited about there. But that's fine. We still have the um, the weapon shop to check, and if it's not there, it's not there. <laughs> I'm sure it makes sense in some capacity. Like it's west if you're looking at it from a certain perspective. Like if you tilt the city, it's totally on the west side. If the entrance of Camarocho is on the east side. I mean, that's the other option. Maybe in the Japanese version, everything is the other way around. Swing and a miss. Okay, well, we're gonna have to make do with what we have. Um, now, the question is, what would be better? Having you using the Avenger with... Well, I guess you can't... Uh, Edge can't use the Avenger, so it makes more sense to leave. The adamant on you, I guess. Um, yeah, we're just gonna have to give it a go, I think. And what's your agility right now? 28. I feel like that's not a good spot to have, but we'll give it a shot. You'd have to ch play a Japanese version to uh, know if anything's mirrored. I haven't heard anybody mention it being mirrored, so... I think it's just a weird naming convention more so than anything. Maybe it's West Park because it's west of whatever is outside of the city on the east. It's west of the taxi stand. And how shaky are you? Okay, well, it's... I mean, it's... Letting me go right into this, so... It could be worse. He's still going to be one shaky fellow, though, I think. Alright, so... Let's Avenger you real quick. What sprite are we going to end up with here? Okay, we're just ending up with extremely large Dizaromas. Um, do you have... A Bacchus wine currently. You do not, but I can throw that ninja sword, so there's that. Can I get the silk web off before you big bangs? Somehow I doubt it. Hey, alright, cool. Um, you know what? I'm probably fine. So this first one's gonna be nerfed. Which 
just means the real fun begins now. Um, do I have anything else I can throw? I guess I can throw a gun here. I don't need that. You can star veil for now. Oh wow, that did more than I was expecting that to do, actually. Uh, you can probably berserk him now. Because I don't really have much else in the way of throwables to really deal with at the moment. <sighs> I gotta do a straight nuke. With luck, he'll try to counter um, Rydia. Or not, because I think I just accidentally swapped his phase, so if I did a reflected nuke, I might have just outright killed him. So that's fun. And I guess we'll berserk Cecil just so I have less turns to worry about. His speed isn't too big of a deal, though. I think I somehow fluked him into a good speed. I'm just not doing nearly as much as I would have liked. That's pitiful. You didn't even get a thousand that time, my man. I guess it's debatable on who's more valuable between Kane and Cecil. But I guess I will heal up just for the sake of it. And hopefully I did nerf this upcoming Big Bang. Technically, you could argue that was nerfed because it wasn't 2,000. But we definitely could do better than that. Okay, we're at Rock's phase. As long as I don't accidentally kill somebody important. See also Kane or Cecil, we're all good. And back there it is. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Certainly have had much harder as around this fight playing this randomizer. Overall the wacky flag. Didn't really do much, really. It made it un more annoying for me to know when to heal, but for the most part in this scene, I didn't really care. So, because we got an adamant armor very early on. I could see it being annoying in certain situations, certainly, but as far as th a distraction, probably one of the more subdued wacky effects, so kind of a letdown in that respect, but I mean... As far as I know, there's over like 10 different effects, so who knows what other ones are in the running here. But, um, it's probably about it for me tonight. Uh, I mainly just wanted to pop on to record this video because with um, all the Easter stuff going on, I don't know if I'm going to get the chance to pop on on the actual Monday to do it, so I figured might as well record it now. Cut out the middleman. Thank you for a GG's anime. Um, speaking of next week. So, I did get uh, an email. I, I have to figure out exactly what times this would be related to, but um, next week, 
Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday for me. So figure it out what that time frame would be on your end. I should be able to pop on to stream semi-close to my normal hours. The week after that, only Tuesday and Thursday. So I'm not going to be doing the full schedule this week, just uh, there's not much I can do about it, unfortunately. Um, but we will pop on. I, I, I'm The days that I'm not able to stream, I might pop on at night if I'm feeling up to it. Oh yeah, Tr trust me, I've been bored out of my fucking mind, <laughs> so don't feel too bad. I I've wanted to pop on for a couple of night streams, but I've just been so tired, either from working on the new layout or working on some other stuff unrelated to streaming, so... It is nice to be back on again, I can tell you that much. Um, I'm curious of where the Legend Sword was. Everything else, eh, I don't care that much. Under normal circumstances, I might pop over to check um, the Twin Harp song, but I think I've been on late enough. It's about 11 p.m., so um, I'll wait to see where the Legend Sword is just out of morbid curiosity, and then we'll probably wrap up for the night. And, um... My, my wife was talking about having a Mummy Daughter Day on Monday. So, there is a chance I can stream Monday as well, because I, I think she wants to go get their hair did and whatnot, so... That would leave an opening for me to pop on and play a little Judgment. So, I'm hoping to see that happen. Whether or not it does will sort of remain to be seen on what happens on the day, but... The option is there. And hopefully I can get to my regular schedule before too long. I mean, the vacation is only two weeks, so after that second week where we only have the two days, the week after that should be sort of more back to normal. Okay, Legend Sword was behind, I believe, Ashura? So... I mean, I, I think it would have been over slightly more if it was the other one. So let's go ahead and um, pop on over here. And uh, yeah, I mean, right now the schedule is inactive. Why is the current game still showing for me? <laughs> That's new. Um, I must have accidentally brought that over without meaning to. Or maybe I meant to edit something and I didn't get around to doing it. For now, it's fine. Don't worry about it. But yeah, but until um, schedule gets back to normal, you know, this is just sort of my usual time, so... Hopefully I'll see you soon, but for now I will say goodnight, and um, I'll hope to see you soon for more Judgment. Till then, have a good one.